when you say that with your tweet, for example, you say, so Jason Collins is a hero because he's gay, our standard for heroism has dropped. I mean, you don't think that that actually lends to this idea that perhaps some people are not as open and as accepting in this country? You know, I mean, who are you to judge no, I, I and say whether or not he, uh, he should be considered someone who is a hero and inspirational to other young men out there? Well, here's actually the problem that I have. I think that you can accept and tolerate people's behavior, um, and that you know demonstrates non-homophobia. I think that it is ridiculous to suggest that just because you're not celebrating, you know, on the cover of Sports Illustrated, somebody coming out of the closet, and you think you know it's relatively unimportant in the grand scheme of things because people should be able to live their lives the way that they want. I, I don't really understand. You know, there are folks who are saying that that was a homophobic tweet. And I'm still confused as to how it's homophobic simply to say that. You don't think it's a heroic move in today's America to come out of the closet the same way that it was maybe 20 years ago. Jared, do you have any thoughts on this? I mean, what's your response to, um, you know, to, to Ben's take here? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's truthfully, it's a little disturbing hearing some of that, but I get it. I heard, you know, after I came out and, and, and I'd hear a lot of, well, what do you need to tell us for anyway? The bottom line is that there's something that, Straight people, I think, by and large, unless they, you know, are recognizing this or have been told or educated on it, uh, don't quite recognize, I think, that the luxury that it is for somebody who is gay to live openly and authentically, to go through life and not be scared to go to a work social function, to go out with your friends at work, but what it means to make up some excuse to not go because you're afraid they're, you know, out at some function ask you some questions you might not want to answer. There, the level of heroism, I mean, we have heroes every single day in all aspects of life. Jason Collins didn't do what he did to become a superhero. Jason Collins did what he did, I'm, I'm, and again, I'm not inside his head, but I'm just guessing, to live openly and authentically, to live his life. Now, it's unfortunate, because don't think that the person who's coming out wants to go and share this news to the world, because it's the most personal news you could share, and it's the news that you would fight and say, this is none of your business. But at some point, you, we live in a world, you're a public figure, you want to live your life. Well, at some point, someone says, you know what, that's enough. I want to live my life. You have a problem with it, that's not my problem. So I don't think, you know, and, and I wonder also, you know, with Ben, maybe when he sent out that tweet, and I sent tweets before that, that I think, well, am I really saying what I want to say, or am I kind of just going against the grain with an idea of something? And I don't necessarily, I, I, you know, I can't speak for Ben, but... Uh, I don't understand where, um, where would there be any vitriol? Why, why, why is there any problem with people having, you know, say, a, a certain day to celebrate or for this to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated? You know, you mentioned, oh, this has been going on. Well, you know what hasn't been going on? We have not had an active pro uh, athlete in the United States, in North American, our four major pro sports, a male athlete come out. Billie Jean King, Martina Navratilova, Cheryl Swoops, uh, Brittany Griner. It's, there, there has been a different reaction. And the same way as I think back to, you know, let's say in college, we were all in college, and we all went out and did some crazy things sometimes. And as somebody who was closeted at the time, I was well aware that it, it, it was okay for, say, maybe two friends, two of my girlfriends, if they wanted to go off and experiment on, on some different things in life. But it was never cool for two guys. It's just it was, there's a macho effect there. We've gone several years since then. And I think it's okay now for it's, it's not that weird uh, for, for uh, even a professional basketball player to say, yeah, I'm gay. Uh -huh. and, well, let's let, and let's let Ben respond. That. I mean, Ben, do you have anything to say to that as to, uh, you know, what Jared no, I, I totally agree with a lot there. of that. I mean, I, I, I especially agree with, the, with what he said at the very end where he says that, you know, it's not that strange anymore for folks to be gay. And that's why I think that it's a mistake for the media to portray it as though this is some groundbreaking moment when the truth is there is ben, no resistance ben, ben, here. There is nobody big. who is really coming out and say, I have yet to hear the response saying, really saying, that Jason Collins should not have come out of the closet. I'm, I'm still, I, no one has said that. And, but the thing so, is, Ben, you have to realize, let me, triumph, I'm wondering why. Let me, let me read a, a comment, a comment from one of our viewers. This one's from the Norwegian 76 who says, this is the Republican way to deal with social issues, pretend that they do not exist. And I think that he does have a little bit of a point there and that there still is a lot of bigotry in this country. We still have laws on the books that deny people equal rights when it comes to uh, the right to be able to visit their loved ones in the hospital, the right to be able to marry openly if they are in a gay relationship. And so, you know, you can't say that well, everything is, is fine and I'm we're in a good place is. in the country where there still aren't, uh, you know, inhibitions to people well, being able is, to live this, their see, lives. This is, and this is, this is what I think is the real agenda in large part. I think the idea of equating, you know, support for traditional marriage 
uh, with the tremendous anti-gay sentiment that would put Jason Collins back in the closet is silly, and I think it's actually the real political agenda underlying a lot of the kind of coverage of issues like this. We are all happy for Jason Collins. He can live the life that he wants to live. I don't think that it is worthy of, of saying that America's such a homophobic, nasty place that we have to, you know, treat this as some sort of grand, a grand breakthrough in the American experiment. Hey, Ben, Ben, let me ask you something. Do you, you have kids, Ben? Uh, I don't. Ben, you don't. Do you have, are you going to have kids that one day, maybe? I hope so. Okay. You have a couple kids. You have your son one day, he comes home, and he tells you, hey, listen, yeah, I'm the all-star of the baseball team, but, Dad, I need to tell you something else about me. I, I like boys. I'm attracted to my schoolmates or something. What do you do? Do you maybe think a I'm little bit differently along the line? Hold on. Do you think maybe a little bit differently along the lines of and have compassion for the struggle that one has gone through to keep his mouth shut, almost for others, for the benefit of others? You, you, you I just don't see how you can't I, the heroism Jared, here. I, I'm I have not nothing, talking about I, I, I have nothing but I have nothing but compassion for these folks, and, and I have nothing but compassion for Jason Collins. And I, again, I hope he lives the life he wants to live. What I don't think is appropriate is slandering the American people by implication as a bunch of nasty folks who are out to get folks like Jason Collins. I just don't see that in today's Who's America. Who's slandering? Who's slandering American folks? I'm saying this is a great day for, for American people. This is a huge day for you Americans. Just, uh, Jared, you, you just said to me that, you know, people like me, people who are conservative, would not even accept presumably their I own sons word, if their sons came home and said they were gay. And I, I never didn't use any word conservative. I'm just hearing this. I'm thinking, I don't get it. Why is there... Let's say let's just say it has nothing to do with being gay. Let's just say it's um, the story is I like to read the New York Times and you like to read the New York Post. You read the New York Post, I'll read the New York Times, and let's both enjoy life and move on and not have to say about. I don't understand what, what this. Does I agree with you? I agree with you, and and this is my problem. I think most Americans agree with both of us, and that's why I think that this is overblown. All right, let me just. Uh, we're gonna have to wrap it up here. In a moment, but Ben, let me just ask you too. So uh, I have one tweet here that was in response to your original tweet uh, that says, but for real, Ben Shapiro, it's a shame you couldn't have been gunned down on D-Day. Oh, no, oh, no, have, no. Have you gotten a lot of responses like this? Oh, sure. I mean, tolerance, you know, I would, I would prefer to see it run both ways. That's, uh, that's, there's, there's, there's no room for that. It's disgusting.